in Namibia, we don't have a lot of big industry that actually has a high carbon signature. If you think of uh, South Africa, if you think of Egypt, they have big uh, industries like Sasol or cement producers that might be impacted by this. So for us in Namibia, it actually allows us to start building new industries in Namibia that don't exist today and then make sure that the feedstock of energy and or molecules that those industries need have a low carbon signature allowing us to then tap into these additional markets. So in a nutshell for us in Namibia, especially because the hydrogen molecule is very difficult to produce and transport around the world, our ability to make hydrogen cheaply in Namibia and to tap into a renewable energy in particular will actually congregate industry here in Namibia. We will then make these goods and export them to targeted markets such as the EU. And this is what we're seeing beginning to happen with companies such as CMB and obviously High Iron, who already are beginning to start producing cleaner goods here in Namibia for export into the EU, but also other markets that are beginning to show a preference for cleaner goods such as uh, Asia. We're seeing both Japan and South Korea begin to express a preference for Namibian goods that have a low carbon signature.